What's that? You want to get better at Warzone? You want to play better with your squad? Well, here's three quick tips to improve your gameplay and to start bringing home the victory royales. So number one is weapon choice. Now, weapon choice is important in almost every single battle royale game and even perhaps more so with Warzone because you can get your own custom loadouts, right? So you can choose the exact type of guns that you want to use and you can decide what different attachments you want on them. So you can make your gun more long range or short range if that's what you want. You have the options there, okay? So more than ever, if you're playing Warzone, your guns really do matter. Now, how do I choose the best weapons to to support my play style? Well, it really depends on the type of player you are. Are you a run and gun type of player? Do you like to play it slow? Are you more mid range? All of that's gonna factor into which which gun is best for you. Now, some of my personal favorites and some of the best ga uh, guns in the game, at least for the short range, would have to be the Origin and the MP5. Now, the Origin is a shotgun, and it's something that you want to use very closely. So this is, I'm talking like indoors, uh, not a whole lot of options where the other player can run, that type of thing. Now, you can bring it outside, which is fine, but you just have to do a better job of making sure that the distance between you and the enemy is, is smaller, right? Otherwise, if you're kind of more of a mid, mid to short range, the MP5 is probably the gun you want to roll with right now. Got a really low time to kill. It feels nice. The iron sights are pretty good as well. And personally, it's my favorite go-to gun when I'm going up close. But if you want to run the Origin or the MP7, those are all good, valid, up-close guns. Now, if you are the type of person that is the mid to the long range type of guy, which is kind of kind of how I like to play, then you're gonna want to run uh, probably an AR with your sniper rifle. And the best sniper rifle in the game right now, for me, has got to be the HDR. So I put a variable scope on mine. Maybe I can show you the some of the loadouts that I have. But if you want to sit back, play from a distance, and get those one shot headshots, which are very satisfying, then definitely go with the HDR. It's it's almost hit scan by the way you shoot some of these guys, and the drop off is very low. Now, there is a bunch of other different snipers like the AX50. That is also a good gun. It's kind of like the HDR, but the drop off is, is much more noticeable. So I would go with the HDR, see what works for you, and yeah, go from there. If you are the type of player that likes the mid range to the short short range even, you can roll with the car. The car is very nice. You can get one shot head shot kills. And it's just also another kind of short range sniper rifle. Although in this game, I believe it's a marksman rifle. So, you know, maybe it doesn't fit, but it certainly feels like a sniper rifle. Now, if we take a look at the ARs that you want to run. I would definitely say the Amex right now is really nice for the close to mid range. If you want to go slightly mid to long range, definitely the Growl would be up there. I've heard a lot of good things about the Kilo and the M13, but I, I personally haven't tried them too much. So that is up to you. Now that would be about it for weapon choice. Small little tidbit, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's see. So number two would be game sense. So a lot of there's a lot of different definitions that people have for game sense. Some people call it intuition. Some people call it situational awareness. For me, it's kind of fallen under all the same umbrella. Game sense is mostly built over time as you play the game. So it's something that you have to play. You have to play the game to build it. So it's kind of hard to talk about, I guess, in a video. But at the same time, you can use the skills from other BRs and other games you play, not just Battle Royale games, to kind of get a feel for where you should be at a certain time and where you have to go next. So a lot of game sense comes down to, I'm in the circle or I need to be in the circle. How can I get there the easiest way? Or how do I stay in the circle while it's still here? You gotta be checking your map. You gotta know where you're at. You gotta know how fast the circles are going because if you don't know that, then you can be very far away, but easily get caught in that first circle because this, the first circle moves quite a bit faster than the other circles. Where you're at, the time, and just be paying attention to that type of stuff and constantly think in your head, where, where do I want to be and end up next? So a lot of the games that I play with my squad, 
we're mostly on the move. We don't really stay stay put in too many areas, and we like to tag along the outside of the circles mostly, kind of play the long range game, but also we want to make sure that we're eliminating as many opportunities for the enemies to come at us. So by kind of staying on the edge of the level and having the circle as kind of a barrier for us, it eliminates a lot of the different angles that would be there if we weren't hugging the circle. So maybe that's not the type of style you guys play. Maybe you just want to be hopping in between buildings and trying to find as many guys as you possibly can. But that's certainly an option as well and just as equally as viable. It just kind of depends on what you're trying to get out of the game and how you want to go about it. All right, so the third thing is going to be communication. And this is a big one because it can be very hard to kind of define where what is good communication, what is bad communication. At the same time, it's also very easy. So it's one of those kind of gray area topics, but there is a few things you should keep in mind while you play a game with a squad. One thing would be to give your teammates more descriptive terms, right? So a lot of the time I'll find even myself saying undescriptive term like, oh, he's, he's right there, or they're all over there. They're, they're all there, you know? That can mean a different number of things. So based on what the, your teammates saw and what you saw are completely different. So maybe you saw a full squad and they're all on top of you for some reason. Just tell your guys, you know, there's four guys on top of me or something like that. Or maybe you only saw two guys, but you should make sure that your teammates know that and using more descriptive language is a way to ensure that. By giving more descriptive information, it eliminates a lot of the guesswork that they have to do so they can really focus on their part of the match as well. So yeah, those were three quick tips to get better at Warzone. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you like this video, you'd like to see more of it. Always looking for feedback. And I thank all of y'all for staying here and watching. So yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell for more Act Pro content. Peace.